the American League has no shortage of fearsome hitters vying for the MVP every season. You have Mike Trout, who's already won three of them, and he was probably robbed of a few more. Yeah, I'm looking at you, Miguel Cabrera. You have Aaron Judge and Giancarlo Stanton, who, if they're able to stay healthy, could easily make a run at the MVP award. You have last year's winner, Jose Abreu, who was nothing but a hitting machine last year. The list goes on and on. But who's actually going to win the award? What if I told you there's a player out there flying so under the radar that he might just be this year's Dark Horse AL MVP candidate? Hey everyone, and welcome to the Two Seamer, where my job is to answer baseball questions that nobody's asking. Before we get into it, I see that over 90% of you who watched my Otani video haven't subscribed just yet, so please make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy this content. Today, we're going to be looking at my sleeper pick for the AL MVP award. I already know this video is going to be a fun one, so without further delay, let's get into it. When it comes to the American League MVP, we might as well rename it to the Mike Trout Award. This isn't just because he's won three of them by the age of 29, but because he's finished in second place four other times and has finished in the top five all nine seasons of his big league career. Simply put, if you want to win the MVP award in the American League, you have to be better than Mike Trout. Now, don't get me wrong, that's an extremely hard thing to ask of players to do year in and year out, but it's possible if everything comes together in the right way. So, what exactly is it going to take to steal the MVP from Mr. MVP himself? First things first, it's going to take a great season at the plate. MVP awards are usually decided on who had the best year offensively. The answer to that question is usually Mike Trout, as he's led the league in OPS Plus in six of his nine seasons. You need to be at your absolute best if you want to keep up with Trout as a hitter. But the good thing is, you don't have to be a better hitter than Mike Trout to win the MVP. Let's take a look at 2015. In 2015, Josh Donaldson, aka the bringer of rain, helped lead the Blue Jays all the way to the ALCS. And for those of you asking, yeah, this was the year that this But how exactly did Donaldson's MVP campaign that year compare to that of runner-up Mike Trout's? A look at the traditional stats tells you that they had pretty similar years offensively. Trout's 299 batting average that year was just a little bit better than Donaldson's 297. Hitting in the middle of a powerful Blue Jays lineup, Donaldson's 123 RBIs outpaced Trout's 90, and they both hit 41 home runs that year. Pretty similar seasons if you ask me. But if you look a little bit deeper though, the stats tell another story. Trout's 176 OPS Plus that season was much better than Donaldson's mark of 151, meaning that Trout was actually a 25% better hitter than the bringer of rain that season. Trout's 2015 war of 9.6 that season was also better than Donaldson's 7.1 mark, meaning that Trout was worth 2.5 more wins over Donaldson over the course of that season. How is this possible? In 2015, Mike Trout had a higher on-base percentage and a higher slugging percentage than Donaldson, giving him a 991 OPS to Donaldson's 939, a difference of .052. Trout was the best player in the American League that year by a good margin. So why did Donaldson take home the MVP? What's the one main difference between Trout and Donaldson in 2015? In fact, What's the main thing separating Trout and all the players that have won the MVP over him? I can simplify it in just one word. October. It's no secret that the best player in baseball doesn't have much of a playoff resume, making the playoffs just once during his MLB career. If you look at the six winners who have won the MVP over Trout, all have led their teams to the playoffs. Yeah, every single one. So. Maybe Donaldson wasn't the best player in the AL that year, but he was the heart of an electric Blue Jays offense that led the entire major leagues with 891 runs that year. 
a full 127 runs better than the next best team. So to win the MVP over Trout, you need to have an electric season and lead your team to the postseason. So, who is my Dark Horse AL MVP candidate? It is none other than this guy, right here. <laughs> Sorry you guys had to see that. My Dark Horse would be none other than Blue Jay shortstop, Bo Bichette. Look at that smirk right there. That's a smirk that says, I might just mess around this year and win MVP. Bo Bichette debuted in 2019 as the 11th ranked prospect in the minors on the back of a 70 graded hit tool. In other words, Bo was projected to be one of the best raw hitters in the game with little to no offensive ceiling. Bo was projected to be a perennial all-star that would regularly contend for batting titles. And to all of our luck and enjoyment, Bo has hit just as expected. In his rookie season, Bo became the first player in the modern era to double in nine consecutive games. Over his first two seasons, Bichette has hit for a 307, 347, 549, 896 slash line. All good for an OPS plus of 138. The crazy thing is though, that Bo has only received 340 plate appearances thus far in his career, meaning that Bo stock can only go up from here. Bichette is currently tied for 18th for the best odds to win the AL MVP award with odds at plus 3300. If he's able to continue his progression and increase his OPS plus above 150 like Donaldson's and lead a young, promising Blue Jays team to the playoffs, he just might have an outside chance. He's going to need some help from the field too, but winning the MVP is not out of the question. Now, do I really think Bo Bichette's going to win the MVP award? Not really. That pick still has to be Mike Trout. And I'm not just saying that because he's my favorite player. At just plus 200 odds this season, Mike Trout has a 33% implied probability of winning the award. Couple that with the Angels looking better this year than they have in a while, Mike Trout might just finally be playing on a team capable of making it to the playoffs. But if Bichette is able to put together some kind of magical season, Bo might just one up his dad who finished second in MVP voting back in 1995. But hey, I'm just a regular dude who loves baseball, so don't take that to the bank. And everybody, thanks for watching. Please make sure to like this video and subscribe if you enjoyed this content. I'm just starting off here on YouTube and honestly, it helps grow the channel in a huge way. Leave a comment letting me know who you think is going to win this year's AL MVP award and maybe if you think there's another sleeper candidate out there. Until next time everybody, peace!